of the Cal Women's Caucus and as a member of the Sam Brown Sea Party in Cambodia, I am most honored to address you in this panel. The panel will be talking, has been talking about the constraints and the opportunities of the first step of getting there. Well, we're not even talking about being in power or remaining in power. We're again talking about the first step, which is getting there. And getting there by assessing the situation now in order to win to hold power and to maintain that power. As the Honorable Sam Ramsey, the leader of the Sam Ramsey party, my party, has just said, we are here in great numbers, not because we have a choice. We are here in great numbers, 14 out of the 26 members of parliament from the Sam Ramsey party are here so that we can meet with our leader who is in exile for the second time since 2005. And we are now just 2010, three years before the general elections of 2013, two years before the local elections of 2012. So if we are here for the second time in order to meet with our leader who is in exile for the second time in less than 10, five years, you can see already, you can feel already the situation of constraints, the constraints, the heavy constraints that we as opposition in Cambodia are living with. But we are here with high hope. We are here, as our friends from Singapore, from Burma just said, despite all the constraints, the problems, the mountains, the enormous problems that we are facing <coughs> as we're preparing for elections in two years, two, three years, whatever, from now, we are here nevertheless because as Democrats, as liberals, we believe in the fundamental principles that our people, deserve to exercise their right and that right is the right to select, to elect, to choose their representatives. Free from fear, free from threat, free from intimidation. That struggle that we all share, whether you are now here, who you are in um, government, you won your election, it is still a struggle. Wait for a long, long time until you get there. But we as liberals, we as Democrats, we have the fundamental belief and also the respect for our people that governance is not, cannot be obtained by, with threats, but obtained with respect, respect of the, for the fundamental beliefs in the principles of democracy. And that's why we're here. If we talk about the situation in Cambodia for the opposition party, for the Sam Ramsey party, that has 25% of the votes. That's a big number. And we have, although we have not won the election in, since 1998, we have, I have to think about it because I joined a party later, I, have, I defected from another party. I just joined the San Francisco party five years ago, so I don't have whole history, but I do have the fundamental, I share the beliefs of Mr. San Francisco and my colleagues who are with me. We have the uh, Whip who is here, Mr. Son Chai, who is very well known, our Secretary General, who is a woman, 
uh, chair, uh, spokesperson, uh, vice president. So you have an entire uh, upper uh, level of leadership of the San Ramsey Party here. When we, I, we walk into the most remote village in Cambodia with no electricity, no running water, up in the mountains, and we see a sign of the San Ram Sea Party, which is the candlelight. My heart beats faster, louder, because I see that the message of the San Ram Sea Party, of the opposition in Cambodia, has gotten there to that most remote village in the mountain of Ratanakiri, the upper part of Cambodia. And we see hope. We see that we are assessing the situation in the right way. Despite all the constraints, and I can tell you the constraints that we are living with and we have been living with for a long time. Because Cambodia has been governed by the same man for almost 30 years. Years, the Prime Minister, Mr. Hun Sen, you know him. So the constraints, the constraints are within is the daily lives of our people, first of all. We have over 4,000 women dying in childbirth, which means that more than 10 women in Cambodia die every day of childbirth. That is the constraint, constraint for our women who who are our voters. And we have less than 10% of our youth attending high school. That's another constraint. When we talk about giving hope to our youth that this government is doing nothing about hope for our youth, about equality for our women and our youth. When we talk about a life with, for our farmers who represent excuse me, more than 85% of our population who now live as displays, internal displays of refugees within their own home, their own land. Because in less than one year, over 150,000 Cambodians have lost their land to what? to illegal land grabbing, to economic concessions that are given to companies that are part 